Money, it's that thing we all chase, the elusive pot of gold at the end of our financial rainbow. But what if I told you that? The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel turns this chase into a delightful scavenger hunt filled with twists, turns, and a few chuckles along the way. So, put on your adventure hats, and let's dive into the treasure chest of financial wisdom. The Money Mindset Where money meets the mind's maze picture this. Money is like that enigmatic puzzle box you received as a gift, intriguing but bewildering. Housel takes us on a journey deep into the labyrinth of our minds, where our financial beliefs reside. It's like going on a treasure hunt in a house of mirrors. Every reflection is different, but the truth is hidden in plain sight. I, in my opinion, understanding your money mindset is like finding the missing puzzle piece. It completes the picture and helps you make financial choices that truly align with your values. The power of saving, pennies, pigs, and penny-pinching pioneers saving money, my dear reader, is like trying to fill a leaking bucket with a spoon. It sounds absurd, but every drop counts. Housel emphasizes that saving isn't just about hoarding cash, it's a mindset. It's akin to having a thrifty sidekick who insists on splitting the restaurant bill evenly, even when you only ordered a salad. It might seem excessive at the time, but down the road, it's like having a financial superhero by your side. I, in my opinion, saving money is like planting seeds in a garden. You nurture them with care, and as time passes, they grow into a lush forest of financial security. It's a quiet, patient process with a bountiful harvest. Luck and risk. The comedy and tragedy of financial theater luck and risk, dear friends, are the laurel and hardy of your financial portfolio. Housel skillfully walks us through this topsy-turvy comedy drama, highlighting how our financial fortunes often hinge on these unpredictable elements. It's like trying to predict the weather on Mars, a delightful challenge. I, in my opinion, understanding risk is akin to being a meteorologist in a world where the weather forecast changes every five minutes. It's about being prepared for whatever financial weather comes your way, from sunny days to unexpected thunderstorms. The quest for, enough, chasing contentment like a butterfly. What's enough? Housel asks, and suddenly, we're on a quest to discover our personal definitions of contentment. It's like chasing a butterfly through a meadow, elusive but beautiful. In a world that often screams, more, more, more. Defining, enough, is like setting your own compass in the wilderness of consumerism. I, in my opinion, defining, enough, is like picking your favorite ice cream flavor. It's a personal choice, and there's no right or wrong answer. Whether you prefer a single scoop or a triple-decker cone with all the toppings, it's about savoring life on your terms. Compounding, the magic snowball that grows and grows into the enchanting world of compounding, where money multiplies like rabbits in springtime. Housel unveils the magic behind this financial phenomenon emphasizing that starting early is the secret spell to unlock its full potential. It's like planting a single acorn and watching it grow into a mighty oak tree. I, in my opinion, compounding is like having a financial fairy godmother. You make a wish today, and she turns it into a glittering treasure down the road. It's a reminder that time can be your most potent ally in the world of finance. Getting wealthy versus staying wealthy. The financial soap opera building wealth is like starring in an action-packed blockbuster, but the sequel, Staying Wealthy, is a suspenseful thriller that keeps you on the edge of your seat. Housel warns us that while amassing wealth is commendable, preserving it can be a nail-biting saga. It's like winning the lottery and then spending it all on a collection of impractical giant fruit hats. Fun at first, but regrettable later. I, in my opinion, preserving wealth is like maintaining a vintage car. It requires regular checkups, attention to detail, and the occasional oil change to keep it running smoothly. It's about not just acquiring riches but ensuring they stand the test of time. Preparing for plot twists, the unexpected financial drama, tale events, are like the plot twists in your favorite mystery novel. Unexpected, shocking, and often leaving you wondering how you didn't see them coming. Housel teaches us to be prepared for these wild twists in our financial narratives much like having a first aid kit handy in a world where accidents happen. I, in my opinion, preparing for tail events is like packing a suitcase for a surprise trip. You don't know where you're headed, but you've got essentials like sunscreen and a winter coat, just in case. It's about being ready for whatever adventure life throws your way. 
Financial freedom, the grand finale true wealth, as Housel passionately argues, isn't about owning a yacht. It's about having the freedom to choose whether you want a yacht or a humble rowboat. It's about being able to enjoy life without constantly checking your bank balance. Like dining at a fancy restaurant and ordering dessert without worrying about the bill. I, in my opinion, financial freedom is like having a golden ticket to life's amusement park. You can ride the roller coasters, indulge in cotton candy, and enjoy all the attractions without fretting about the cost. It's the grand finale where you've paid your dues, and now it's time for the standing ovation. The man in the car paradox. Laughing at our financial foibles, the man in the car paradox is a humorous reminder of how our financial behaviors often contradict our own goals and values. It's like trying to order a salad while reading a menu filled with mouth-watering burgers and fries. Housel invites us to chuckle at our financial quirks and make choices that align with our true desires. I, in my opinion, recognizing our financial foibles is like finding humor in everyday life. It lightens the mood, helps us take things less seriously, and nudges us toward wiser financial decisions. Hidden wealth, beyond the surface in a world obsessed with conspicuous displays of success, Housel unveils the hidden treasure beneath the surface. It's like discovering a secret passage to a world of financial wisdom. True wealth isn't just about flashy displays. It's also about the solid financial foundation beneath I in my opinion. Hidden wealth is like the roots of a towering tree. It might not be visible, but it's what keeps the tree standing tall and strong. Likewise, true financial security often lies beneath the surface, in the form of savings, investments, and a solid financial plan. The simplicity of save money, the final encore in the final act, Housel delivers a simple yet powerful message. Save money. It's like the comedian's encore, reminding us that amidst the complexity of financial advice, the most straightforward message often carries the most weight. Saving money is like choosing the right color for your masterpiece. It's the canvas upon which your financial masterpiece takes shape. I, in my opinion, saving money is like building the foundation of a house. It might not be the most glamorous part of the process, but it's the bedrock on which your financial stability rests. It's the first step toward achieving your financial goals. Conclusion The comedy and drama of finance as the curtains fall on our journey through. The psychology of money we're left with a sense of awe and amusement. Money may be a serious business, but with a dash of humor and a lot of wisdom, it becomes a journey worth embarking on. So, as you navigate the labyrinth of your financial life, remember the laughs, the lessons, and the quirky characters you've encountered in these pages. After all, personal finance isn't just about dollars and cents. It's about the stories we tell ourselves, the emotions we experience, and the behaviors we exhibit. May your financial journey be filled with humor, wisdom, and a few unexpected plot twists along the way. Cheers to your financial adventure.